उसमें भी ज्योमेट्रिक पीस तो बड़ा Yes, come. I can't see him. Rujul, you know? Yes, Rujul. Rujul, where are you? Rujul. Yeah, ma'am. Can you? Okay. All right, fine. We are doing the heart of a tree. Okay, ma'am. Okay, come on. So now we have the heart of a tree. You have done this point in the school. No, no, we don't have a tree. You know that it's not a dog, it's not a dog. Okay. Now, does a tree have a heart? Not really, if you go with the logical sense. No, does a tree have a heart? You don't think so. You, but it's living now. Yeah. It's living, so all living things don't have a heart. Yeah. Scientific, scientific. But here, the heart that is spoken of is not actually of a tree. What heart do you think you're talking about? The person who planted the tree. Uh, Correct? He has planted a tree. And when he was planting the tree, there were some feelings in his mind. Or maybe there were no feelings at all. He just did it for the sake of doing, not realizing. What he was actually doing. Now, his feelings have been transferred onto the tree. The heart of a tree, that is the heart of a man who planted the tree. Correct? Now, he's trying to tell you what is the reason? What does, what happens when someone plants a tree? What exactly is doing? 
giving Earth like oxygen by planting trees. I think I have science teacher also and a chemistry teacher also. And if I tell you, go and plant this particular seed in the ground. What you do? Think in the plant. We take out the little make a hole in the ground. We put this. Look how it does. Okay, in the side end. Wrong. Wrong. Why? Because you did not touch. You did not test the pH of the soil. No pH. Not pH. No pH. The acidity or the basicity of the soil. No. Under normal conditions, your normal, your normal, your own normal. Under normal conditions, my blood, everybody's blood, should show a cell. If I put a pH paper in my blood or in the water, water coming from the filter, it's supposed to show yellow color. If it shows red color, it means it's acidic. If it shows blue color, it is basic. If it shows yellow, it is neutral. Correct? Yes. Now, when we drink tea, immediately you pass, put the pH tape on your tongue. It will show red because tea is acidic. Tea is acidic. Now, you know pretty really well that, you know, your that dove soap, dove, dove soap. You won't see that soap now. Many, many of us. I had an advertisement, Dove Soap advertisement. They showed the yellow pH and they placed them that Dove Soap. And Dove, that paper remained yellow. Now, if it is soap, what should have been the color of that pH paper? Yes, soap is basic. It is not sodium. By carbonate, it's got sodium carbonate in it. So, okay, so it should be blue, blue but it should be yellow. Why? Like it is so. So it should be blue. Why it should be yellow? Okay. Huh? Like just for advertising, they. No, no, no. But it's so. No. So it's they added so acidity and they added acidity. No. See, remember this statement of mine. All soaps are cleansing agents, but all cleansing agents are not soaps. All cleansing agents are not soaps. For example, today, now if you use soap, when you apply soap, it takes up the oil from your body. And when you actually have a bath and you wipe your skin, the skin remains really rough. If you put your hand, if you scratch, not so many days alone, if you scratch with white lines, that shows the oil from your skin. You don't need to be by that soap. But if you use a body gel, if you use body gels, it should have in the market today. In the day, if you're little in pharma, you put one little drop of it in there, and then you wipe your, just dab yourself with a towel. Okay? You find that the skin is very soft. Because that body gel is a cleansing agent, it is not so. I use cleansing agents. I use body gel because my skin is not rust. I'm 70 years old. Do you believe that? Even if you do believe it, please don't say yes. <laughs> even because even it's not wrinkly, the skin is not wrinkly. It just it just it has some wrinkles on my face, it's just some wrinkles on my skin. My skin is not wrinkly, but I'm using gel. So change over gel. Today, don't stop using soap. Use gels. So initially in 24 hours, you know, your oil is replenished. Your skin is so your metabolism is so very bad. Immediately you have to get your oil. Okay? 
Yeah, ma'am. Okay, good. What does he plan? Who plants a tree? He plants a friend of sky, sun and sky. He has planted a friend of sun and sky. I mean, the tree is going to grow. And very soon, the tree is going to go higher and higher, closer to its friend, who is the sun and the sky. You also would have to move close to our girlfriend. Yes or no? Correct. What have I done by keeping you close to him? I've kept a friend. By making you sit together, I've kept, made you establish a friendship. And I, what have I done? I have given him, given him a friend. It's up to you to nurture that friendship. So here he has gone and planted a tree that is the friend of sky and sun. He plants the flag of breezes free. What happens is that tree he has grown, and that tree is like a flag. Okay, as the wind is blowing, this is a flag keeps on moving from side to side. You know that the wind is blowing by looking at that plant. You know that there's, it's breezy. Suppose you are in a room which is absolutely shut, closed, closed. But then you, and you can't hear sound, but you can only see the trees moving up and up, you know, fully where there is breeze blowing. Like, for instance, in Merchant of Venice, he plucks the grass and he's holding it, and from the way or direction in which the grass is blowing, is bending, he knows in which direction the wind is blowing. Look at that first paragraph, no? Merchant of Venice. Yes or no? See, man. See one, he plucks the grass and wants to know in which direction the, the wind is blowing. He sees that the wind is that the grass is moving in the direction. That means the wind is blowing. The, if the wind is blowing in the direction, the ships are also going to go in that direction. And if the grass is bending very much, that means the wind is very, very fierce. And if the wind is very, very fierce, his ships can face the danger. Understood? So Therefore, what happens is he plants the flag of breezes free. The breezes are blowing very freely, and the wind and the tree is moving like a flag. Freely, it's moving like a flag, showing you in which direction the tree is, the wind is blowing. 
The shaft of beauty towering high, meaning when the tree trunk is the stand of the, it's a stand of the flag. It's a stand of the flag. But the stand of the flag could be steel or it could be wooden. But here, this wooden shaft is a shaft of beauty. Towering high means it has grown very, 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 very high, tall. But why is it beauty? Why is the trunk of the tree called beautiful here? Dore, why is it called beautiful here? Because it is, no. No. Because at times, Dore, are you sleeping or what? No, ma'am. Tell me, why is he calling the trunk of the tree beautiful, the shaft beautiful? Because sometimes on that tree, moss may grow, certain creepers may start growing, certain colorful little, little leaves may come out, certain animals, creatures, insects could be there, butterflies, moss, moss. So the tree looks naturally beautiful. That doesn't grow on the shaft of a flag, does it? On the shaft of a flag, you find all this growing? On the tree, yes. Sometimes you find beautiful work done on the tree. Somebody has done a heart. Somebody has done an arrow. Pasted that heart red. <coughs> no. That's how it becomes beautiful. He plants a home to heaven and I. Now, and I means close by. He's made the, he made a home and made heaven close by. How? How has he, now means what? Close by. How does he say that he has made a home by growing a tree? He has made a home. Whose home? What home? Birds. Birds, animals, creatures. Birds, animals, creatures. Yes or no? And he has brought heaven close by. How? How has he brought heaven close by? Hey, we'll look at it. How has he brought heaven close by? Because I can't tell you. No, how has he brought heaven close by? The tree has grown so tall. When you climb up the tree, you think you're climbing up closer, closer, closer to the sky. See, in olden days, all the temples, all the places of worship were on the mountain. But on the mountain, why? Because we felt that when you climb up the mountain, they are closer to God. They are closer to God. Also, we climb and climb and climb and climb and climb. And climb. And climb. The penance, the pain, whatever difficulties we are facing, that is to wash away our sins. So when we climb up, it's a pilgrimage. And we feel that as our sins are washed up, we are going closer and closer to God. So closer and closer to so the tree is a home for creatures who have made their home in the tree and they see when they make their home on the topmost branch of the tree, they are closer to heaven or heaven is brought closer to them. Okay? You're not writing anything and then when you go home, you're not able to understand well, what they're telling you, so you everything. As long as I'm in the classroom, you'll understand what I'm saying. But when you go home, you find the book is empty, you don't know what to read. And right, right. For he plants a home to heaven and I, and I mean, I'm bringing heaven closer. For song and mother croon of the he brought heaven very close for the mother bird. For the mother bird, who's cooling me, singing very softly. You know, I mean, 
So that man who has grown a very small, one small seed, he's actually grown up forest for years and years and years because he keep on procreating. He keep on procreating, correct? And years have faded, years have passed. Past years have passed, and trees have died, and they have flushed again, and they become green again. They become green again. He plants the glory of the plate. What did the one have done? He's plant the glory of the plate. He has grown that seed here, but with the wind and with the animals and with the birds and with the insects. The leaves, the trees have grown, 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 and even grown in plains. Cross pollination. He has gone, and uh, that tree which was grown here has gone and reached there. How? Because of cross pollination, because of wind, because of rain, because of man. Okay? And what has happened? He has grown, and the plain is looking glorified. Glorified means beautiful. Can you imagine a plain which is just brown and grass is all dead all around it? Grass is dead all around it. Is that a glorified plain? No. A plain doesn't look beautiful at all. It's not at all glorified. It's very dull. It is not pleasant to look at. But if it is full of when the rain comes and it's fully green and fully colorful, then you know that the plain is glorified. Right? The plain is beautiful. He plants the forest heritage that one small tree has now become the forest. And in the forest, what is the heritage of the forest? What is the heritage of the forest? Huh? Trees, animals, insects, all this. They're all the heritage of the forest. And with the trees come in so many valuable products. Valuable products you get from the trees. So that's the heritage of the forest. Then, yeah, this is all this. This is made from yes, these all made products from the tree. Okay? That is the heritage. They plant the forest heritage. The harvest of a coming age, the new plant will have your seeds, and those seeds you will collect, or you will harvest them, and you will keep them for next year. But one little tree has given you food for next year as well. Okay? Harvest for the next year. The joy that unborn eyes shall see. When he has grown the tree, you are not born. But today you can see that that time you are unborn. Today you can see. Today you are born and your eyes can see what he grew many, 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 many years ago. Unborn eyes. At that time you are not born. Okay? These are the things he plants to plant a tree. Okay? Next one. What does he plan to plant a tree? He plants in sap and leaf and wood. Now, what is he going to He's planted a tree. In that tree, you have sap. That means the secretion coming out of the tree, which is very, very useful. What are the secretions that come up from the tree? The latex. The gum, rubber, that uh, asphalty, the hing hing. We have hing nut that goes up from the tree. The new product, incense, incense is called dhu. All these are cash crops. They're coming out from the tree. You have got sandalwood, you have got. You have got your vanilla, so many coconuts you have got, mangoes you have got. All these are coming products from the tree. We have got leaves from the tree, medicinal leaves, trees have got medicinal leaves. Okay? Or sometimes the leaves are used for various purposes, like for example, to make hatch roofs, or to make baskets, or to weave dough mats, floor mats, cottage industry. All this is coming from trees. And wood, wood, so many things are made of wood, and you've got various types of wood. Like sal and peat and cedar and ebony and, uh, and uh, oak and peat tree, all these are expensive. Sandalwood tree, all these are expensive wood 
that is obtained from the tree. That is what he has grown when he has grown a tree. In love of home and loyalty, he has grown that tree, which is going to be used for something in the home. For something in the home. Loyalty and part for the Pacific with and he has grown a tree which is going to be used for the general welfare of society. So he is loyal to society. Okay, people can, they can build temples, they can build churches all made from wood. Churches and temples, all this is meant for society. He has grown the tree for the welfare of society because he's loyal to society. His blessings on the neighborhood. He has blessed the neighborhood. He has blessed the neighborhood. Who in the hollow of his hand holds all the growth of our land? So in the hollow of his land, he started it by growing the tree which he held in the hollow of his hand. In the hollow of his hand, yet, but he had that seed inside and he took it and he put it into the ground. And when he put it into the ground, this is all what he has grown. In the hollow of his, on the palm of the tree, he has made so much of benefit to society, to creatures, to nature, to the future generation, to the unborn generation, only by taking it in the palm of his hand and putting it in the ground. A nation's growth from sea to sea stirs in his heart to plant the tree. Now, because he has planted that tree, he has now helped the nation to grow. You have your logs of wood being driftwood, being rolled the riverbeds or by the elephants, and expensive wood being exported from one country to another. The nation grows very rich. Produce of the tree is being exported, your mangroves exported. That is something. Lots of sandalwood, lots of vanilla, all the produce of the tree being exported that helps it enrich the nature the, the nation's wealth. This is what he has gone and done. Okay, stirs in the heart, he stirs in the heart, it has stirred in his heart. The one who has done with it. Understood? Now you read that poem very nicely. And if you are not, and write on the meaning on the lines that are there. And if you don't have, if you have not understood anything, ask me. I will explain it to you. Come on. Okay.
Last week, what did you do? Number six, number six, number two. Yeah, against the bottom. What did you do? We did the whole thing, and then you gave us some practice grammar, like two and five. No, I two 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 poems I did for you last week. Yes, ma'am. I think so. You did the whole thing, and you went and did after grammar. Yes. Huh? You taught us like you only read with us the after bell and then you bell. gave us some. Ah, that is okay, but after bell, the bell yes, was after bell. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Only the ends are okay. Two hours. After the end, also the two hours. Is a nation grows from C to C like they're doing there. Huh? A nation, uh, this line from the poem, the second last line. What's that? A uh, nation grows from C to C. A nation? A nation grows from C to C. From C to C, no? Yes. So what happens is when you have, when you, uh, uh, the products of the tree are sent, from one nation to another, say by sea, so its export, so the nation grows. No? The, the economic value, economic status of the country, of the nation grows because we are exporting the products of the tree by sea. Oh, so that's what it's interesting. Yes. Okay.
completed, no problem. Okay, now what we will do is we will give you figures of speech. Okay, figures. Now see here. Plant. What does he plan to plant? The tree. P and P alteration. P and P alteration. Huh? A L L I T E R A. Here, alliteration. And again, friend of sun and sky. S S sun and sky. Okay. Also, it's called personification. It's personification. Friend of sun and sky personification. He is giving tree the status of a human being and calling it a friend. Okay. All right. Then here. Uh, what is that? Home and heaven, 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 yes, attrition. That's well known. Yeah. Then, slag of breeze is free. What is that called? Slag of breeze is free. That is what now? Slag of breeze is free. That is metaphor. Metaphor. Why metaphor? What is metaphor? Ah, it's like a flag. It's like a flag. But why metaphor? Why? What's very very close to metaphor is what? Simile. Huh? Simile. Why am I calling it a metaphor? Why am I calling it a simile? Because uh, in simile we compare two things, and here we are like saying it's God like. Ah, God like an ass is not used here. But comparison is there. Yes. Comparison, is, comparison is there, correct? Without use of like and hand uh, and as. Hushed and happy twilight. Happy twilight. Happy twilight. That's called transferred epithet. Transferred happy twilight. Transfer epithet. What is transfer epithet? What is transfer epithet? Write down the meaning of it. Transfer epithet is when the feeling is passed from the doer to the object. And the action or feeling is passed from the door to the object. Transferred epithet. When the action or feeling is passed from, from the object, from the door to the object. Now here what happens is, who is the door here? The, the, the guy who is... See, is twilight, twilight is happy or you are happy? Yeah. yeah. We are happy. So our happiness is passed on to the twilight. Like as I said, say, wash room. Mm -hmm. Who is washing? The room is washing or you are washing? Who is washing? Us. We are washing. So our action of washing is passed from the doer to the object. Oh. Okay? All right, sleeping room. Your sleeping room, the room is sleeping. Ah. Dining room, who is dining? Your dining or the room is dining? Yeah. You are dining. So action is passed from the door to the object for transfer. So who is happy here? Yeah. You are happy or the twilight is happy? Yeah. 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 Okay. Then unborn eyes. 
Unborn eyes. Unborn eyes stand for what? Unborn babies. That is called synecdoche. Synecdoche. That is a part for the whole. Part for the whole. Synecdoche. Part for the whole. Then, sap, leaf, and wood stands for the trees. Now, that is also synecdoche. Part for the whole. Sap, leaf, and wood. Stands for all the sap from the tree, all the wood, all the leaves of the tree to the sun. Synecdoche. It's called synecdoche. Correct? Followed now? This is because of speech. Now, understood that? Now, what we do is you open up your volume and read it. Read this poem. Read from the very beginning the synopsis and the question and answers. And the question and answers which you have to do for review or uh, say homework. What is it called? What, what so is the it? review question? Though. Review question. You have to do it on your own. And then we will discuss it. Okay? What about the other two points which you have missed? You've taken, you've taken uh, uh, admission for all the subjects. English and Hindi, not for other subjects. Now, what made you come here for English? For actually, the place where I'm going doesn't need any other subjects other than science and maths, and I wanted five for the English as well. So, now do you understand my information? Are you uh, happy with it? Now, what about the other subject, other lessons which you have missed? Pardon me? The videos. The videos, I heard that the videos are. Okay. Okay, if you want to spend time, otherwise you can ask for the lecture and then come and speak. First, read the synopsis, everything from the very beginning to read. It's harder to change that by your school. Oh, this is called. You, your school is वो बोला है वो बोला है हाँ मैं कुछ भी नहीं करती अभी उसने एक प्लीज आप मतलब ये करेंगे तो यहाँ पे हाँ मैं बैठी हूँ यहाँ पार्थ यू कैन सी मी पार्थ पार्थ Dore, Dore. Ah. Yeah, ma'am. You can't see me. Can you see me? Ma'am, I couldn't hear you. 
then you should have immediately told me to stop and call which which so ma'am i could hear you but uh, your voice was actually very you know low now did you understand now what i have explained to you you want me to explain it to you again uh no ma'am i have understood i just reconnected because my camera is not working i have turned it on but it is just showing black showing black if you want me to explain anything to you tell me i'll explain to you no ma'am no worries You first do read from the text. From the, then we can do practice next next hour. We'll do the practice exercise. Okay. Benevolent, mm -hmm. yeah. meaning someone who is uh, see benevolent and malevolent. Malevolent is a stingy person who will not give keep everything for himself. And benevolent means someone who keeps on giving you and giving you a benefactor. Keeps on donating. That's a benevolent. Giving you lots of things, giving time to you, always giving you things. That is called benevolent. Mama, I can't hear you. Ah, sorry. She wants to know the meaning of benevolent. Benevolent is someone who is kind, who keeps on donating and donating. And opposite of benevolent is malevolent. Malevolent is someone who is very stingy, who doesn't give, who keeps on taking and taking. Someone who is very cruel. That's malevolent. And benevolent means who is kind. Understood, uh, understood, Dore? Yes, ma'am. Uh,
Dore, what you're doing now? Ma'am, excuse me. What are you doing? Ma'am, I'm going through the poem. You're going through the, uh, through the volume? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Dori, do the practice exercise. Okay, ma'am. Do you know the answers? Yes or no? Do you want me to discuss it? Pardon me? I didn't follow. In the notebook. Notebook. Do you know the answers? Dori, do you know the answer? No, ma'am, I'll just attempt it. Which which answer? Which question you don't know? What is metonymy? Metonymy? Yes. Yeah. I told you, you know, synetiki and metonymy. So can you just can you tell me? Yeah, synetiki is part for the whole. Huh? Metonymy is word for the whole. Word for the whole. Ah. Yes. Dori, which answer you don't know? Dore, kidare bolar ka? Yeah, ma'am. Which answer you don't know? Tell me. Ma'am, the second one. What's the second question? Tell me. What, what is twilight? Why is it happy? What is twilight? Why is it happy? Okay. I explained it to you. Dore, I explained it to you. What is twilight, Dore? Early, late evening, early night. Late evening, early night is twilight. Why is it happy? Because the day is ended and all of us want to go home and relax. We, love, we are happy the day is ended and we all go back home to our loved ones. We are happy to do so. That is why. Okay, ma'am. Understood. Okay, third one. Other answers we all know? What is that you want to mean? Visha or Vikas? What do you mean? Vikas. Vikas, no? Vikas? What do you want? Do I know which person? Like, did I say the wrong name or something? Because you tell me what your name is. I want to talk to you. That's my friends. They ask me and I don't know your name. Rudra. R U D R A. Rudra, sir.
Friday night, I'm really sad. Those people questions are heavy. It's my Friday night, they have no questions. This is a vision of the group. There's a vision of the group. We became the ask of those appearances. Monday before. Monday before we come. Most of the questions that the copy on the question from two pages, I don't read uh, on the copy, I don't read from the community workbook, page so and so. From the community volume, page so and so. Don't copy down the questions. And your handwriting, my God, if I find that paper coming to me, I will tear it. Let me say, I will tear those papers. I'll tear them out. Lovely. What's the question? Meant by a and B. Wait, I didn't hear a word of what you said. Lovely. What is meant by a travel and B events are? Events? Um, what is meant by, by, by travel? Travel is the, the voice, the shrill voice of the bird. Events how many means the shrill voice of the bird is in harmony with the music of the planets, yes. with the movement of the planets. It's in harmony with the movement of the planets. In other words, the entire, the entire evening, okay, is at peace with each other. The earth and the heavens are at peace with each other. So when everybody has come home, and twilight is a happy time. Everybody is happy, everybody is at peace, and there is peace reigning 
on earth as well as in heaven. That's the meaning. Travel is a very shrill voice of the bird. What is metonymy? Give examples of metonymy in the extra. What is metonymy? You were not there last time. You know, I told you, you know, it's part for the whole and word for the whole. For example, listen to me. Listen to me. That's why listen to me. Suppose I said it's part for the whole. Now, suppose uh, you are to describe me, uh, you would say, uh, Typical, something typical about myself, like my, my dress. Okay, you say, this is a pan. The cup pan is coming. The cup pan is coming. So this cup pan stands for the pole. It's a power for the pole. Okay, fine. So that is, that is a very synergy. But suppose you want to say that loud voice is coming. This is open. It's a, okay, but don't say loud voice. You can say, you can say a word, no? A word. The word you can say, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you can say, uh, yeah, you can say that the strict, the, the strictness is coming. The strict, the strictness is coming. Meaning, I'm a strict person, so it means this is over. It's a word. I'll give you something more extreme. Like, so, suppose, example. As I told them last time, suppose I bought a car and I would say, Come and see my new wheels. Come and see my new wheels. So, wheels is a word, it's a part for the whole. It's a part for the whole. Come and see my new wheels. And that's said to be celebrity. But suppose I say, Come and see my new ride. It's a word. 
Meals with a noun here. Here is ride. Ride is a verb. It's the German. When a word stands for the whole, that strict, it stands for the person. That is the German. So this is a pen is coming. It is red. A, a, a part. The part. Meals is a part. Ride is a word. Strict is a word. Kastan is a part. Okay, unborn children. Unborn children. It's an eddiki. It's a part for the whole. Unborn eyes. Unborn eyes. Unborn eyes is a part for the whole. That is it. It's an eddiki. If I say the silent cry, oh, yeah. that is for the unborn children. Oh. Unborn children. Silent cry. Unborn children. It's a word. That is maternal. Okay, so now we we'll find out examples of maternal in the world.
Luis. Handwriting, handwriting, handwriting. Leave some space in between the words. Question one. Yeah. Question number four, the second part, is an example of metonymy in this extract. Yeah. So like from this extract. Yeah. So have you got? Even you, you get you got which you don't tell me. Sad leaves, but they are all nouns, no? And they are not even in this extra. Actually, the question is wrong. It should be give examples of the people. See, very few people really know the difference between metonymy and synergy. They say it's the same thing. I don't know what your teacher or your teacher has told you in school. So there's a very fine line of demarcation between metonymy and synergy. Synergy is a part of the whole, metonymy is the word for the whole. So, uh, Share the of these Shade. Yes. Yeah. Shade is free. Shade is metonymy. Shade is metonymy. Shade is metonymy. Shade. Where is this kind of Which is this thing? Second line. Yeah, the plant school shade. Shade is a uh, word. Shade is said to be metonymy. Anyone else? Home to heaven. Home. Home, the home, yeah, home to heaven. Thank you. 
Dore, can you hear me? Yeah, ma'am. Ah. Finished all of you wrote down the answers. Correct? You finished that? You grab. You finished? Yes. Dore, have you finished all the four questions? Mama, I'm the third one. Five questions. Five. Five. You finished all five. All five. Dory, how many have you finished? Ma'am, three. I'm on the fourth one. I'm finishing the fourth one. Please finish it up this year only. Yeah. Don't take next one. Full year to complete that one question. Yeah, ma'am. Ah. Shall we, okay. shall we wait for him or shall we discuss? Yeah, we can discuss we wait for, for three minutes. Three minutes will wait. Dory, I'm giving you three minutes to finish up question four and five. See the book. See how neat Huh? See her book. Can not be neat like that. She very untidy, shabby work. Very shabby. Let me see her work. Yeah, but I must have been in the beginning. It is print, you know. It's like a running hand. Yeah, I'm done. You're done? Okay, come on. Now, give me the question. Let us go. Okay. Dore, what's the first answer? What is Mother Kuna bird? Why is it sung in a hushed voice? Dore, give me the answer. First one. Dore, where are you? Yeah, ma'am. Give me the first answer. Yeah, ma'am. Loudly. Ma'am, by planting a tree, um, the man shows his love and loyalty to the earth. His sense of civic duty. Um, and his blessings on the neighborhood. What are you doing? What are you saying? I'm talking about practice exercise. What is Mother Kruna bird? Why is it sung in a hushed voice? Which one you're giving me? Which one are you answering, Dore? Yeah, ma'am, yeah, ma'am, okay, okay, okay. Um, the mother's croon is um, a soft song by the uh, that mother bird. Yes. Is uh, singing to her offspring. Singing to what? Offspring. Yes. So you can say, what is mother croon a bird? In the evening, the mother is very... Sakti singing to her babies and putting them to sleep. Okay? Hence, therefore, her voice is very hushed. 
This is what you have to say. You got that answer. You got that answer. And change it, you will say. This the gist of it also you can have. The gist of it, when I said just a lot of you don't have. What is your answer? Tell me. Not because she's happy, because she's putting the babies to sleep. Because she's putting her babies to sleep. Mother Kruna bird is the mother singing very softly. She's putting her babies to sleep. Hence, she's singing in a harsh voice. Got that? Jadav got it, not Jadav. Dori, you got that? Yeah, ma'am. Next one. Can I go to the next one? What is twilight? Why is it happy? Yes. Yeah, and everyone is happy to go back home to their loved ones. Okay, twilight is early night, late evening. And it is happy because the day is done and everybody wants to go home to meet their loved ones and relax, to meet and relax with their loved ones. What is meant by treble and heaven's harmony? Yes, you. Treble means the shared voice of a word and the heaven, the harmony. And heaven's harmony means that the voice of the world is in harmony with the planet. With the planet. And then the entire universe is at peace with each other. The entire universe and the heavens are at peace with each other. Harmony means at peace with each other. What is metonymy? Give examples of metonymy in the extract. Metonymy means word for the whole. Metonymy is a figure of speech which means word for the whole. Okay, then give examples of metonymy. I gave that answer to you. I gave that answer. Did you get that answer, Dore? Dore, you got the answer? No, ma'am. What is metonymy? Metonymy means part for the whole. I explained to you last time. Last time you were there, no? You paid attention to my explanation? Yes, ma'am. Acha. So, metonymy means word for the whole. And what, what are the examples? Just follow the examples I've given you. Shade. Shade. Uh, shade. Uh, shade. Home. Glory. Glory. Forest, heritage. Forest heritage. Shade. Home. Glory. Forest heritage. These are all metonymies. Examples of metonymy. Write it down, Dore. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Last one. Give four functions of a tree perform. Give four functions of tree performs on this earth. Who will give me the answer? You didn't write it down. I didn't say anything. You didn't answer. The four function of the three are giving oxygen. Giving oxygen, okay, fine. I would provide shade. It provides shade. Making food. Giving us fruits, yeah, giving us fruits, okay, fine. Giving us, uh, yeah, giving us food stuffs, okay, fine. What else? Giving us food. Food, food and food stuff, what else? Food, food. And giving us very important, very important uh, uh, products and giving us very important products like uh, uh, wood from its bar and sap in the form of gum, in the form of aspartida, in the form of lactic, in the form of rubber, in the form of incense. These are all the products of the tree. Okay, four, four points you've answered, no? Manish, now, all of you, have you done this on page, have you done the exercise on page 99? Words and meanings, have you done that? Do that, in the textbook you do. What are the literary devices? 
Now that you don't know, the expression of what will be in the speech imagery has been used in the past of the thing. Don't do that. That's it. Don't want. We do the do the worksheet two, worksheet two, and worksheet three. Explain the theme reflected in the poem. All these three you do just now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Do worksheet one, worksheet two, and worksheet three. Quick. Dore, did you hear me? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, fast, fast. Next time also bring pressure, bring all your books next time and we'll do a lesson with you. Huh?
Far cast thought means he thought ahead. He thought ahead of the benefits that it would uh, do to society at large. Yeah, yeah. Right, see, your using, see, your handwriting is a little bit shabby, you know. You agree with me, yes. and you have less number of words on your set in that day, on that line. Okay? You need a little more space so that it becomes a little more pleasant for the teacher. So my name is Nagmi Dr. Yon in school. Huh? MOV, I'm going to stick on this book. Okay, MOV, what is your Dr. Yon in school? C2. C2. But you all miss a dance scene one year with you all. Scene one is completed. It's completed with you all. Huh? Yes, completed scene two with me. You were asking for scene one. For scene two. I was there for scene one. You were there for scene one. Yes. You were there for scene one. And scene No, let us go with scene one. The first scene one, you were there. You were there for scene one. Yes. And that has been done in here. Yes. So next time when I come, I can do scene two. Yes. I'll start with scene two. So it doesn't matter if you're there. Then you will be there for scene two. Do I want scene one then? Is that did you follow it? Yes. Otherwise, you take the uh, take the recording from here. Okay. I think it's otherwise, if you want me to fill it, you can have to ask for an extra lecture. Is that the equal to me? The next time I come, I do see it you with your and what we should I do so that everyone lets it from there. What do you want me to do? Huh? And what we will do? Okay, fine. Barkas? Ah, so he said, thinking ahead, okay, thinking far ahead 
uh, for the benefit of society. It's thinking far ahead, thinking ahead of time for the benefit of society. How does the poet highlight the importance of the Shakespeare made him a sad person because according to Antonio, everybody has to play a part in this world, which is a stage. And Antonio's part was a part of a sad person. That's all. He made him a sad character because that was his part that he had to play on this earth. That's all. That's the reason why he made him a sad character. That was his role. According to Antonio, his role on this earth was that of a sad man. 
Yeah, yeah. But the, that actually is the entire prese of the poem. At last, I want to question then. Explain the common themes of the poem. This, in other words, what are the different reasons why the man has grown the tree? Or what are the different benefits? The reason being, he has, no, if you, what are the benefits of growing the tree? What are the benefits of growing the tree? For so how has the man given the tree a heart? He has given it a heart by asking that he is growing a friend of salmon offering. Give this entire paraphrase of the poem. Entire paraphrase of the poem, the meaning of the poem, you write down in short. That will be the answer to that question. Next time, bring him away, huh? Um, space. The what? Space. The large part. Huh? The stones. The stones. The stones mean the stones. Stones is what movement, no? Which is what we did in India. Stirs in his heart, you know, creates a it creates a, a feeling in his heart. So it means bringing a feeling in his heart. A feeling in heart. Creates a certain creating a feeling in his heart. Creating a feeling in his heart. But bring all the books. Suppose somebody she doesn't miss you teaching me a particular lesson because we not in class. And I have to keep in touch with your school. Na? So bring all the books, okay? For okay, kitchen. Yes. Finish this for the homework for homework. Okay. So it is six twenty.